hey, basically, you're going to be coming here. You're going to help me with the event. You know, you're going to go on the field. You're going to interview people. You're going to help me with the commentary sometimes. And you get to shoot people. So you're going to fly into San Antonio. I'm going to have somebody pick you up, bring you over to the ranch out here in the middle of nowhere. And, uh, and then, yeah, so these vests right here, you see it? They have yeah. these vests. They wear a vest. And when they get attacked, they lose health on the vest. They get hit seven times and they're out. And they're, How do they, they go to the gulag when they're... <laughs> what are the weapons, though? What are the weapons? We got swords. We got bow and arrows. We got guns. We got slingshots. They have, uh, I don't know, they can just, like, you know, push each other, I guess. You know, anything. Oh, so they can literally scrap. Like, they can literally fight. I mean, they can't fight with their fists, but they can. I got boxing gloves and shit. Oh, my God. This is about to be in fucking sane. So where do they sleep? Yeah, they no, it's going to be. They sleep outside. Dad, what I mean, bro, they sleep outside. We got some tents and stuff. They got, we got some sheds, some houses. They can like go and find a, a structure to sleep in, and they or they can find a tent. I don't know. I mean, whatever, you know. And the last person alive gets a hundred k. How are they gonna eat? Uh, so I have a drone that's gonna airdrop supplies, and then they're gonna fight for it. No fucking shot. They're gonna fight for the limited food supply. Yeah, they're all gonna start with food, but when that runs out, they're gonna have to fight for it. What did they sign to do this? Because they must have like did they signed their life away literally like in the cause of maybe death like you uh, ice poseidon is not responsible no it's even better than that actually if somebody hurts someone else they're responsible oh that's fire that's fire yeah no i mean they signed a very a very good waiver so um yeah no it's all good i mean they they know what they're getting themselves into you know i mean they got a bunch of ex-military people they got a bunch of like mma fighters boxers we got nick white you know we've got a whole wide variety of people you know homeless people we got everyone no they're, they're gonna hurt each other they're literally they don't even know because when i was in a, a a reality show for youtube back in the day called fight of the living dead where they put us they blindfold us put us underground and like there was people pretending to be zombies walking around trying to attack us that shit starts to feel real they're gonna think they're in a war zone i mean we got a helicopter you know i'm gonna come out with the helicopter and have a minigun i'm gonna shoot him from the sky with a minigun <laughs> We got a we got this girl we got this girl in a bikini riding around on a horse with paintball guns. She gonna she gonna paintball them. They can paintball? Yeah, I mean what kind of guns did you think I was talking about? So when I'm a hunter, when I'm a hunter, what do I what's my my objective? I can use any of these weapons to go hunt them? Yeah, but <laughs> Yeah, but you know that they can also attack you back, right? Oh hell no. No, but don't worry. Because I, uh, you know, you you, you got to go in a team. I have a team of hunters. You go in a team of hunters, and it'd be very unwise for them to try to attack you. Because obviously, they'll get eliminated then. You're going to have very overpowered equipment compared to what they'll have. They'll have, like, a bow and arrow. You'll have, like, a fucking full-auto paintball gun. What is the, like, how big is the field that, like, how are they not going to run into each other right away and just duke it out and lose all seven lives on the first day? I mean, that's going to happen. So we're putting them all in a big circle, like the Hunger Games, and in the middle is all a bunch of good stuff. So they're, they're going to fight for the stuff in the middle, and then they're going to run off. Uh, but it's a 1,000 acres. So once you run off, you'll never find them. Oh, shit. And then it's like a really big property. It's about 75 football fields across. So when I'm on the ground to interview them, I got to walk like hella far to find each person well you're you're gonna be driving a an atv i've got you know we've got four atvs and a pickup truck this is so lit this is so lit this is better than i thought it would like this is you're, this is you're not gonna want to walk around we have the we have the property booby trapped with landmines no shot what happens when they step on the landmine uh they get shot up with paintball guns or they get attacked by a fucking by things and noises and flashbangs and tear gas and whatever. Oh, I was watching um, some of the interviews yesterday and there's like actual beef with the contestants. Like one guy literally sunned another guy for letting his wife get assaulted and then his ass beat at a party. Like this shit's real. Oh, yeah. These guys, I mean, they all hate each other. All the contestants are, they don't like each other. So it's going to be interesting. I have a security guard so he can try to like break it up if it gets too crazy. Who do you think is going to be out first? Unfortunately, probably Nick White. No shot. No shot. He lasts shorter than Sweater God. I mean, to be honest, Sweater God, maybe. That dude's like 400 pounds. <laughs> it's not I mean, he's probably going to give up from the heat alone. I mean, sweater God's like his body probably consumes and holds so much heat. He's like insulated. <laughs>
<laughs> He's done. He's cooked. He is cooked. Is there no armor for the paintball guns? Because they're going to get his ass with the paintball gun. I mean, they got shields. There'll be riot shields and stuff that they can find. He's they're going to have the loot and find it. He's cooked. He's cooked. I can't. Oh, my God. That's going to be funny. And where are you going to be mean, yeah. the whole thing? I'm going to be inside the house uh, commentating everything. The whole time. Yeah. I mean, I might go out sometimes and shoot them. But for the most part, I'll be in the house commentating. Who do you think is going to win? Are you allowed to say that? I don't know. I mean, it's really anyone's game. It, it's hard to say who I think is going to win. I mean, anyone who's good at surviving in the wilderness and also has, like, the ability to, str like, make strategy and, like, not... I don't know. You, Somebody who's just... In, it's just... It's, it's hard because you got to survive and you got to not get shot up by other people so i don't know and you got to find food and you got to like you got to do a lot of shit yeah it's gonna be uh it's gonna be kind of crazy so when i go out to shoot people i'm gonna need you to take over the commentary as well is bet, that, bet, is, bet, is that bet, right bet, bet 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 yes for sure are you allowed to say who all the hunters are have you announced that yeah so all the hunters are girls we have wood baby her girlfriend we have uh my girlfriend kimberly we have Zena uh, and Natalie Reynolds. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, and we have Rampage Jackson and the CEO of F3, Harrison. Oh, actually? Yeah. That's in, that's crazy. Yo, this is a big, big, big ass production and like idea. I thought, like, the, I think, I thought the tally was going to come, but I think he uh, got caught up with like trying to stream with Aiden Ross or something. That's crazy. But no, I'm excited to be there. And it's like, I don't know, like the whole, this whole world is like a different world of people and streamers for me. So it's going to be fun as I'm doing what I'm doing, but also finding out who the hell these people are and talking to them. Well, I'm excited. I'm excited. I think it's going to be hella fun. Yeah, no, I mean, you're, I think you're going to have a good time. You're going to, I I mean, just, I mean, are you okay with getting paintballed? Because if you're hunting, if somebody tries to steal your gun, you're they're probably going to paintball you. Uh, if I go out, I'm going out with so much goddamn armor. All right. Uh, I like, mean, I don't have any armor. You, I'll, I mean, get armor. You, you, I'll get armor. I'll get armor. I'll get armor. I'm going to get a mask. I'm going to get I'm gonna get a lot because I'm not going out there. No, paintballing hurts like shit. Yeah. Just get some, like, uh, I don't know, like knee pads or something, like some kind of armor like no, that. Trust me. I got it. Trust me. I got it. I'm already, <laughs> my team is on it. I'm going to have armor. There's a lot of animals. Too. There's coyotes, there's hogs, there's bobcats, uh, you know, snakes. I mean, you got to be careful if you're if you're going out hunting. You know, if you run into a, a like a fucking coyote or something, it might attack you. Wait, actually? Yeah. There's actual animals out there? Yeah, we were we were going around place and stuff around the map and we saw a coyote. Okay, I'm going out during the day then. If I go if I'm going to hunt, I'm going to go during the day. I'm not going to go at night. Yeah. During the day, there's no animals. There's only cows and stuff, so. Oh, wait, wait. People can team up? Yeah, they they're, they're going to team up. So it's okay. So, I know there's a big team already with like 9 people. They're going to have a big base. We have a catapult. So we're going to catapult cow cow shit at them. <laughs> <laughs> they they already that's hella cheating they have nine players already on their team yeah so i mean but that's easy i mean th their team is held together with toothpicks i could break that up really easy putting out a bounty or something okay, who's the team yeah, it's like gary david it's like girthy gorilla crazy ton i mean you know just a bunch of different people uh, um <laughs> no nah, they don't sound like they got it they don't sound like they got it i mean i could literally just put a like a thousand dollar bounty on someone's head and they'll, their team will break up in a heartbeat while i'm in the games and i'm like going around is there any way i can help people like let's say i didn't want to i don't want no smoke i just want to talk to them is there a way i can help them and give them better advantage like what i should be able to ha i don't know i should be able to have like like for one like a protein bar in my pocket and ask them if they want a protein bar to because they might be hungry but also like i don't know i, I gotta think of something yeah i would say yeah you could do that but you should make them like do something for it like make them do like 50 push-ups or something yeah, yeah they're not getting it easy they're not getting it easy for sure just make sure though when you're hunting so the hunters aren't supposed to eliminate people unless they attack you right so if they attack you you can you can eliminate them and shoot their oh. chest so if they're running away from you don't don't shoot their chest or back. You need to shoot them in the legs so you hurt them, but not eliminate them. But don't they still lose a life if they get shot in the legs or only if they get shot in the chest, on the vest? Only if they get shot in the chest or back where the vest is. Oh, that's fucking torture. Okay, go for the legs. Go for the legs. Yeah, go for it. just like full, full auto their legs so they just get like welts for days and just put them in pain, but don't eliminate them. You can also just pepper spray them. That won't take any life off them. Oh, fuck no. They, they got pepper spray? No, you. You can have pepper spray and you pepper spray them. 
True, 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 true. <laughs> Yo, I guys, this is about to be fucking insane. Just don't shoot him in the head because I don't want anybody to get hurt. Seriously. Yeah, what, happens with, what happens with headshot? Uh, they'll get hurt. Really? They're like they'll have helmets and goggles on, but like if you get shot in like the cheek with a paintball, that's not gonna be that's that's not gonna be pretty. Oh my god, that's fucking crazy, guys. I'm coming in full armor. I'm coming in full, full, full fucking armor. You gotta be. You gotta make sure you go out with like a team, bro, because. If, if they surround you and like steal your shit they're gonna have a really powerful gun and then you're gonna have nothing you know what i mean that's crazy wait is there times i can be on the field and not be a hunter and be like an interviewer can i do that yeah so if you're not hunting then i'll give you like this this like orange construction vest that you can wear so they know not to shoot you will, will they know can you tell them beforehand if you see a man <laughs> in a construction vest he is not fair game yeah uh, yeah they know about that Okay, as long as they know that, because I'll get, I'm not trying to get fucked up. What are you doing with cameras and cameramen? Uh, I mean, they're all going to be streaming with chest mounts, so they're going to be their own cameramen, but I have drones. Oh, they're going to be streaming with, on their chest? Yeah, they're going to be streaming on their chest, so we, I'm just going to go through all their streams and commentate, and that's how we're going to get the footage, but, uh, I also have drones, so I can, you know, I can get some drone footage as well. That is fucking brilliant. And what about their charging their equipment? They have battery stations all around the map. They go, they place the old battery in the box, they take a new one, and then I have people going around and recharging them. That is fucking brilliant. Yo, good shit on this production and how big you're going for it. That's fucking massive. Yeah, I mean, I, I, mean, I hope it works out well. I mean, I've put a lot of money into this, so we'll see. Yeah, if it goes according to plan of what you're describing to me, it's fucking legendary. Yeah, Please that's what I'm hoping. <laughs> I think it'll be good. Yeah, it's going to be fucking awesome. He said, what's going on with Carl, though? Car How do you say his name? Carl, though? Uh, I mean, I have no idea. He's one of the contestants. He got banned. Uh, uh -huh. I'm not sure what's going on. I'm trying to figure it out. I don't know what's going on with him. When and where will this all be going down and where to watch? Sounds sick. Uh, Kick.com slash Ice Poseidon, of course. <laughs> it's got a whole new category for it. You, you can see the category. <laughs> yeah, Ice and Survival Games. Because Hunger Games are copyrighted. Oh, the contestants can stream in that channel, or is that random people right now? Yeah, the contestants. Oh, that is fire. So I can watch contestants stream. Yo, that is crazy. This is fucking massive. Yeah, it's going to be good. Yeah, how long have you been planning this? About three months. <laughs> you did all this in three months? Well, I have a team of people that help me. But, uh, yeah, we we did this in this shit. I mean, we could have probably done this in, like, two weeks, but I was waiting for these vests to get made. It took three months for the vests to get made. That's crazy. How big is your team? We got Samuel Swindeman. We have Hondro. And we have ABV. <laughs> we're, all, we're all shirtless. <laughs> They're just chilling. That's crazy. I make sure that I hire fat people because it's funny. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so fun. That's fucking crazy. When we get the helicopter, then you can jump in the helicopter with me and we can just shoot that minigun. Bet, 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 bet. So, I mean, I don't know if you have any drama with Sam, but he's going to do the night commentary. He's going to be there? No, he's, he's, he's banned from America. So he can't be here, but he uh, he's just going to do the commentary like from Asia. Oh, I don't give a shit. I heard he's been yapping. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. So, I mean, I don't know if you guys have drama, but just like, I don't know. I don't know the Maybe. guy. I knew the guy for like one time in like 2015 and then um, on the No Jumper podcast. And that's it. I don't know the guy. I don't got a relationship with the guy. I don't know what he thinks it is, but it's one sided. OK, but he's been yapping. Yeah, he's been fine. yapping too much. I just thought I just think it'd be funny if you guys have like drama that'd be ridiculous oh he's gonna have drama he's on my dick he hasn't stopped talking about me <laughs> all right i mean shit well that'll be this will be interesting then nah he's a, he would be lucky if i grace him if i grace him with my presence and talk to him or anything like that i mean yeah you don't have to talk to him he does the night shift commentary and you'll probably be asleep by then so yeah so i mean this will be good um yeah i'm excited for this no hell yeah i appreciate you i appreciate you um, I'll see you on uh, Friday. Yep, Friday it is. All right. Peace. And shout out to the boys right. in the back. Shout out to the boys in the back, the shirtless boys. <laughs> All right. Later. Later.